Our next guest is the quintessential renaissance man, oh, Cal Penn. <laughs> burst onto blushing. the scene back in 2004 wow. with that cult classic, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. That's right. You sit there while I talk about your life. Okay? Please. Yeah, uh, thank you. He went on to work <laughs> under President Obama as a liaison to younger Americans and the AAPI community. His newest project is called Getting Warmer with Cal Penn. So Cal's going to bring awareness to an important topic, climate change. Good to see you, my Good friend. Morning. Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks back. for having me back. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, we, we keep, through this series, you, you drop a lot of knowledge about this. The idea that at the current rate, by 2050, there's going to be more plastic in the oceans than fish. Or the idea in our country, we have never, uh, as when it comes to recycling, topped more than 9%. Uh, right. so, so when you hear numbers like that, were there things that you found doing this series that kind of, you kind of like a head slapper? That you, oh oh, well, yes, a lot of it. And I'm glad you brought those two stats up because when, when I was looking through the material for the show, I kind of thought, well, I know the way the show's being pitched and what I would want to get out mm -hmm. of it is it's not one of those doom and gloom climate change right. series, which, which there are plenty of for good reason, sure. right? The stakes are really dire. But what we wanted to do was uh, highlight folks, companies, individuals, advocates that are responsible for climate change solutions. Uh -huh. And so in something like that recycling episode, okay, I didn't know that only 9% mm -hmm. of things that That's we insane. think we recycle are actually yeah. being recycled. And the, the episode talks about how, you know, we, we think that certain things are recyclable because companies tell us they are, mm -hmm. but they're not truly practically munis municipally recyclable, meaning mm -hmm. yeah. when you throw it in the garbage, does your town or city have the capacity yeah. and the budget to actually recycle? Or if it's contaminated, they, they right. can recycle Exactly. It. And to be clear, what, what was nice was things like cans and bottles are being recycled at higher rates, mm -hmm. but it's the stuff that you read the labels like, oh, my toothpaste tube is recyclable. My right. Amazon package is recyclable. Not really. Mm -hmm. Not unless you mail it to like a third party facility mm. that usually has a cap on it, meaning, mm. you know, let's say 100,000 units can be recycled because the company paid for it, which is a great place to start. Mm -hmm. But the idea of greenwashing and kind of which direction we're moving in is one of the things we're So for the average viewer at home, what do yeah. what are they supposed to do? I mean, they're, you know, certain days a week we put out plastic bottles and cans, but is that enough? I mean, first of all, that's a great start. I think yeah. one of the things that we that we talked about in the episodes are the opportunity that we have at that local level to either partner with your city council, partner with your local elected officials. If you're in a school, you can do these drives yourselves. Mm -hmm. One of the big challenges we learned was that certain things aren't as recyclable because of the cost, meaning it costs more to recycle than the mm -hmm. material that you get back that you can sell. So changing that equation, either whether, whether it's in bulk or whether it's forming the right partnerships, to be clear, there are people doing this in yeah. really great Right. ways and that was the point right right uh, so for you know we don't all have to individually heal the world you know yeah. but if we all do a little bit I think it goes a long way so what are some tips and tricks that you recommend that we could just practice every day yeah okay so first of all the idea that uh, we're that we should be complacent and we're you know it's beyond the point of no return so we shouldn't do anything mm -hmm. that's how they want you to feel yeah. right yeah. like they, the they wins whether that's business whether that's elected officials mm -hmm. complacency is what they want you to feel so first of all like get rid of that right because right? incrementally we can make a big difference but it is things like uh, advocates and CEOs working together there's an episode we did on panel Panasonic's Gigafactory and the batteries that they're making. Mm. You know, they currently make batteries for Tesla and electric vehicles, but they're investing heavily in battery recycling, meaning their supply chain is going to shrink and they're not going to have to ship things from all over the world to make these batteries. Why were they able to do that? They had some leadership in the in the corporate world that, that was driving that, but it's consumers. It's writing yeah. letters. It's mm -hmm. saying, I want to support this company. So don't underestimate the opportunity. In each of those episodes, that's one of the things that I learned the most. Well, we, we wanted to give you something. We got a little gift for you. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Something. Oh, you open that up there. Thank this you. is what, something. It's a car. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's styrofoam. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, no way. Hey, there you go. Hey, there you go. There you go. Thank you. So, That's right. So you can stop using all those. And plus. just take a magic marker and write third hour. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> really, this is great. Really and it's also to commemorate your run on The Daily Show. Oh, oh yes. Thanks. Congratulations. Yes. Good luck with that. Thank you so much. If they offered you the gig full time, would you take it? I don't know if I'm supposed to be coy or not, but hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so look, I, I, I appreciated working in the White House so much. It was an honor. My yeah. background's in comedy. I couldn't be more this excited. This is like your wheelhouse. Yeah, I know. I'm so oh, excited. Looking about forward to it. Crushing it. Yeah, you'll, you'll crush it. Always great to see Thank you. you. Nice to see you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can catch Getting Warmer with Cal Penn on Wednesdays, streaming on Bloomberg channels and Bloomberg.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.